Let's talk football now. Let's talk about Real Madrid and Rafa Benitez with TalkSport Spanish football reporter Begonia Perez. Hi, Begonia. Hello. Um, Hi. Uh, first of all, I mean, he'll be absolutely delighted to have got this job. He was, and he was actually very emotional uh, for what we know from Rafa Benitez. He's always, uh, you know, considered a very cold man, uh, but he's not like that at all. Um, he was very emotional today because he, he's basically back home uh, in Madrid. He's a Madrileño. He, he was born here. He started his coaching career uh, in Real Madrid, but he was actually one of the youngsters from 13 years old to 20 years old. He played with Real Madrid youngsters. So he couldn't barely speak today when he started his speech after being unveiled by Florentino Perez. It's a very difficult challenge. We know how Real Madrid are, how demanding are their fans and, and the chairman. He has no mercy when he wants to sack a manager. They don't win a, a significant title. But overall, for Rafa, it is, this is the biggest challenge uh, of his career and a well-deserved one after uh, having a very decent pedigree in, 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 other, in other clubs in Europe. Of course, uh, obviously uh, best known for Liverpool, uh, amongst other things. But... Um, he's happy to be back there. They're happy to have him. I understand as well he's not going to be going alone because he's taken the whole of his backroom team with him. Yeah, he's taking his um, his uh, assistant coach, Antonio Gomez, who actually played actually for Real Madrid uh, when he was younger. Paco de Miguel, his fitness coach, and Xavi Valero, the, the goalkeeping coach, uh, also one of his uh, Italian uh, uh, assistants in, in, in Napoli. Um, Hey, they basically are a very united team. Um, I know them from their time in Liverpool. Uh, they spent the last few years of Liverpool with him. And they are hardworking people as Rafa is. Uh, he is a very demanding person. So they have a very strict methodology. Um, they are very into tactics and, and studying everything into detail. And that's the kind of work they're going to do in Real Madrid. Uh, if there is something wrong during Ancelotti, last part of the season was that they lacked uh, tactical discipline. There were a few issues in the fitness department and those, those are the kind of things Rafa and his team can do. And Rafa likes always to speak about his team. He always speaks about us, we did this, we did that because he truly believes this is a teamwork. It's not only about a uh, one-man job and and they will they will try their best. They've been locked in the Real Madrid uh, training ground for two days since they arrived here on Monday, and they had the last game with Napoli on, on Sunday. So they, they started to work already. Today was uh, the unveiling, but they've been working for a couple of days because they want to get things right from the pretty beginning. Um, so what are the first things that he's going to have to think of when he gets there? I mean, are we, are we to assume that David uh, De Gea will be signed from Manchester United? And if he is, what does that mean to Ike Casillas? Well, he didn't want to go into detail in that respect about any individuals in the press conference today in Madrid, but obviously this is one of the things Real Madrid will try to, to, to get sorted as soon as possible, but this is about Man United agreeing a price to sell David De Gea, and if they agree to sell David De Gea, um, Real Madrid, you know, it's always a huge temptation for any player, and um, David De Gea, by the end of the season, he was quite split about whether to stay or go, because Man United is still a big team, obviously, and, and the fans love him, but uh, for Ike Castillas, it's quite an interesting one, because he, he's got part of the Real Madrid media reporters on his side, which is quite a, a pressure for any single manager. Um, obviously, his best days are over, uh, but in the end he's an icon in Real Madrid, and, and, and the fans lacked a, a bit of respect to him. Uh, so it's a very sensitive case, Casillas. His best days are gone, but at the same time he has to be respected as an icon, and he's a very powerful person inside the club. So that's going to be a challenge for Benitez, for sure. Now, uh, we've talked, obviously, that uh, Real Madrid are happy to have Rafa Benitez, but what do the fans really think, particularly those that were a little unhappy that Ancelotti went? 
Yeah, that's that's the case. I mean, Ancelotti, the fans were very fond of him. Obviously, he won the Champions League last season for them, the desired uh, decima, the 10th uh, European Cup for, for the club. So, um, But in, in the beginning of Ancelotti, the, the, the fans were not really convinced. Uh, it's quite a demanding crowd, as I said. And, uh, and I think with Benitez, they, I think they understood today. He's one of them in the way that he's a Madridista. He's a a supporter of Real Madrid. He started his career there. He was very emotional. So with that emotion, almost close to tears, he, he convinced some of the sceptics uh, about Benito. But I think that um, he's got to win the fans by winning games. That's the only way to do it. And he knows that's uh, one of the challenges uh, at his spell on, on Real Madrid. But um, uh, initially, they were a bit sceptic. The polls are not... Uh, pretty much keen on, on Benitez, but mm. there is a way of changing their minds and is winning games and titles, of course. Begonia, thank you very much indeed uh, with your thoughts on Rafa Benitez at Real Madrid.